it's been a really positive experience of it's especially when you come into the third year I think you learn a lot more skills and you sort of work with people you probably never worked with before um, like I know coming into the final year and there was a few people I didn't rec didn't recognise maybe never speak to in the whole three years that you've been here which is a bit strange but when you get on the JMU journalism team work for the website you basically become a proper team you, you know it's got that team spirit everybody works for each other everybody helps each other out so it's it's been a really positive experience I've loved it I'd say what I've gained the most is working within a team in a professional environment because you don't really know what it's like to work with other journalists on stories that are going to be published. In, in the final year and the third year I've applied for the job on the, on the website, I've been given an international editor title and, and it was absolutely fabulous I have to say and being on that website gives you the extra kick. You get, you get some sort of energy to do your coursework. So uh, very happy, very happy man, yeah. Being part of a big news team, getting to work with people from radio, from print, from online, and it's the whole convergence day, it's like we go out on big projects and film alongside people doing radio, doing print broadcasts, and then you get to see it all online in one big converged news story, and it's great to see how everyone else's perspective of the same news event like combines to make a really big story. When I started out, I didn't have, like, I'd say that much confidence in my work or myself, um, but this has completely changed that because I've got to meet like Kim, well not meet Kim Cattrall, but I've got to interview Kim Cattrall, Matt from Busted, Les Dennis around my house, and just like meeting and talking to celebrities is something I never imagined I'd be doing in my third year at all. I just thought it would be just coursework and stuff, so it's completely <laughs> enhanced, as I said, my whole third year. Probably my favourite story that I covered was the HMS Liverpool coming, well returning to Liverpool, we got to spend the day on board the ship with like the press passes, got to meet loads of the crew, interviewed the captain, we managed to get an exclusive interview with the mayor that BBC and ITV didn't manage to get and it was just a really good day and just to be able to do that like through JMU Journalism, to get aboard alongside like the BBC news crews, the ITV news crews, was a really big step forward, it was doing proper proper new stories that were being covered by everyone else. Personal highlight for me was probably getting the opportunity to go to the um, press box at Anfield. Like it was being a die-hard Liverpool fan, I mean it was something I never ever imagined I would get to do. Well maybe not, maybe not never get to do, but get to do this early in my career basically. I, I still think of myself as a trainee journalist. I don't think that I've you know, reached that standard of getting into press boxes and things but it was an absolutely unbelievable experience difficult as well because you know I was used to go in the game and just watching as a fan and celebrating goals but when you're in the press box you can't really do that and it was it was hard but it was a really really good experience and loved it. Uh, Remembrance Sunday it was we tried to do a convergence package which means online content uh, print TV and radio and uh, we took a team of about six people six journalists down there um, obviously the service was very moving but the actual content that we produced uh, it managed to get over the emotion of the day really well and yeah that's definitely my highlight. Uh, I'd say interviewing Lauren Voyers, the uh, Lennon Peace Memorial artist. I emailed her directly and got the interview and uh, interviewed her and it was amazing so and that went up as an exclusive before um, Sky, uh, BBC or Granada uh, got the interview, so that was good. My highlight probably was uh, interviewing Louise Redknapp at the start of the year. I never would have done that without the website, without her saying, oh, I work for Jamie Journalism. If I was just, oh, I'm a student journalist, people were just like, no thanks. But because of the website, it helps back up your story and people to watch you more. Than. I just say get involved. You only get three years at university. Um, it's an incredible course, it really is special. I've learnt a lot in this last year, I've made a lot of friends working on the website. Um, it's, it's just a magnificent experience that you won't get again. If you apply yourself and you get to be, you want to be part of the JMU Journalism team, you want to get your work out there, then it's definitely worth putting the effort into. Final year, yeah, it's busy, yeah, it's hectic, you've got loads of other stuff on, but believe me, having working on the JMU journalism website on your CV um, is extremely rewarding. Like I know even from being a work experience I was able to show um, employers that I had a work experience our website and they were really impressed by it and impressed that 
we had the experience on the CV, so it's definitely something definitely to get involved with, I think. Yeah, just encourage anybody that's interested in working for the site, just go for it. Um, it's increased my, my confidence tenfold, but seeing my work up there. And you get stories that you didn't think you would get. You Actually having a website there to show it to people, you can get stories that you wouldn't have dreamed of before. So it just gives you, inspires you to confidence to go for, go for stories, interview people. It's just a fantastic experience in general. It is a good training programme. It's accredited by the Broadcast Journalism Training Council, one of the key journalism accreditors in the UK that ensures that we're teaching what a journalist needs to know in the modern world. We're due to move into a new building uh, within a very short period of time. We're really looking forward to that. It's going to be really exciting. Uh, we're going to develop and expand the newsrooms that we have, allowing students to work um, as sophisticatedly as any journalist uh, in the world. We think we're superbly set up for the 21st century now to be a leading journalism department in the UK. And it's a great story to tell and it's a great story to work for.